Hey you guys, happy new year. I haven't done a full format video in a few weeks. I just smeared off half my makeup so that we can start again because I want to get ready with you and talk about 2024 ins and outs. I'm excited for the new year. Last year, I kind of made uh, some good progress in my personal life and everything. I think, honestly, thanks to you guys and the online community, because last year, I think, was when I really broke into YouTube and social media and started noticing things because I had this audience to help me out. So I'm really appreciative. And I'm excited to get ready together. I already have Pure Lease BB Cream on, and now I'm just touching it up with the Pure Lease BB Concealer. This has been one of my faves. I don't know. It's so nice. And I got some new makeup in the mail that I tested out today that I like that I want to try with you. And just chit chat and do a pretty look. Nothing crazy. I just want like a regular, regular makeup look. So to start, we're going to use this Florisys Into the Wild palette. This is their new collection and I'm really into neutrals. Obviously, it's what I wear most of the time. I know it can be boring, but I love warm neutrals. So let's start with this brown shade here and get that in the crease. And then let's start on the ins and outs. So ins for me, I'm trying to cook more. I love cooking, but you guys have never seen my kitchen. I live in an old West Hollywood apartment, uh, old tile. I don't have a full size dishwasher. I have a mini dishwasher. There's no counter space really. I don't know who thought up this kitchen, but it is sort of all wrong. But this year I want to kick it into full gear and start cooking again because I love to cook. And I need to just be more disciplined and clean up after myself. That's really what stops me. And also, ever since I started doing YouTube and editing and stuff, that's taken up a lot of time. So the time to cook has been lessened. But this year, I want to make time for it. I want to eat better uh, because I DoorDash too much. So outs would be DoorDashing. Also, how good is that yellow color? Let's put this in the crease. Another out for me is putting other people on pedestals and assuming that other people are doing better in life. I always make the assumption that other people are happier, they're making more money, their apartment is better, their home situation is better, their relationships are better. I've been trying to get out of it, but I kind of fall into either like, this phase of like being like overly self-confident and then I kind of tank and end up on the opposite side of the spectrum. So this year I just like to not compare real to online because that's where I'm getting these ideas. It's not that I'm seeing them in real life and I don't want to put any men or women on pedestals. I don't really have dating goals or ins and outs regarding dating because I don't want to focus on dating this year. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But at this stage, I'm really not trying to force anything. I think I kind of went through a phase for a second where I was like ready to find someone. And that just honestly caused me to date in kind of like a weird way. Like I ended up out with people who I don't think I would really even be compatible with. Um, so yeah, there's no dating goals besides just no creeps. And if anybody treats me disrespectfully, they're gone the first time around. Uh, of course that should be the norm, but these boundaries are new to me. And another boundary is with family. No drop-ins this year. No, I bought a ticket and I'm coming. I just can't handle that this year. The last three times I had COVID were because people were just dropping in. And I'm, I'm tired of it. I can't deal with it. And it hurts me emotionally and physically at this point. So drop-ins are done. Boundaries with family are in. 
drop-ins are out. Also, I don't know if you guys saw the, um, the short I made on this Chato coal. This is the coolest thing, but it comes with a crazy amount of fallout. So I'm gonna put so much powder under my eyes. Literally, it's a waste of Givenchy powder, but we're gonna do it because I don't want any fallout to ruin my makeup. And earlier, I used it and it fell out all over. So let's put this on. Another in for me is friendship, focusing on relationships that will last me a lifetime, as opposed to focusing on relationships that will last me a few months. I'm kind of like a lover girl vibe, like, I could very easily fall into things and honestly, like, is it toxic or not? I don't know, but I love love. And this year I'd like to just fall in love with people around me, friends, people who are gonna stick it out for me and be there with me for a long time. Because I can't be doing this whole like off and on dating thing. I can't be throwing myself into things and letting it go quickly. When I started dating initially, I kind of threw myself into this one situation and it ended up being very weird. Um, I was dating this guy from Orange County, very brief stint, but like these kind of high intensity um, relationships, like sometimes just get me in a tizzy. It was only like four weeks, but oh my gosh, were some crazy things going on. And there were a lot of problems and also like a lot of self-confidence issues come up when being around people that like aren't good for me and that man was not good for me and also he was kind of chunky and he kept calling me fat <laughs> so he's canceled uh let's put on a liner and lash so this is a product called duraline and what you could do with this is create a liner with pretty much anything it comes with Inglot in some scenarios, the Inglot liner, it's the same brand, but I'm gonna try to use this greenish color in this palette for my liner, mixed with a little bit of Duraline and an angled brush. So I'm just gonna brush, dip the brush into the Duraline and then go into the pan. And the lover girl kind of personality type that I have right now probably should go out, but I'm gonna let it stay in because I feel connected to myself when I am authentically me and I feel like I can't always like hide these things about me. I try, um, but it just doesn't feel like me. And whenever I'm in like a dating headspace too and I don't allow myself to feel how I'm feeling and like, you know, just kind of try it out authentically, then I always end up in a weird place. So lover girls in but bending over backwards for people who aren't right or aren't kind or have treat other people in a way that isn't nice, that's definitely out. You know, you can't always tell how people are just based off of how they treat you. Like my sister, somebody close to me recently had this boyfriend who put her on a pedestal and was very kind to her, but was very crude and unpleasant with the people she loved. So I also want to just tune in and see and listen to how people treat others to guide me. Because of course a romantic partner would always treat you nicely in the beginning. But if you see them treating others in different ways, in weird ways, you have to listen to that. Or if they tell you they like Andrew Tate. The guy I was seeing from Orange County was an Andrew Tate guy. And when I found out, I cried. <laughs> and it was all, it was horrible. It was all bad. It's such a red flag that I was even there. But, um, you know, you don't, you wouldn't have guessed these things. Like, I didn't know that there were Andrew Tate fans. I didn't know that was real. I thought it was like, just incels, you know, but there are real men hiding amongst us who like that guy and who hate women. Another thing that's out is guys who don't give me the time of day. 
they're out, they're canceled. And I'm muting every story of any guy who doesn't treat me with the utmost love and kindness. Also, I was talking smack about moon dust. So let's use it and see if I can change my mind. It is really pretty. It is pretty. It's just there's so many glitters that give more. But if you like a subtle shine, then this one is it. And that liner from Floris is really nice. I love it. Beautiful. And also the packaging, it's so pretty. You know, cause usually you can only get nice packaging like this with luxury makeup, but I would be surprised if this cost more than $50. It's a pretty good price for that. Another in for me that I'm trying to incorporate is just letting other people help me. Um, I've kind of always been somebody who can always do it on my own, try to do everything myself. But as I'm getting busier, I'm realizing I can't. So I am delegating and letting other people help me. Last year, I did start hiring somebody to come every two weeks to help clean my apartment. I have, <laughs> this is an overshare and silly, uh, but I have trauma based around cleaning. Because when we were little, and also, I'm just going to do a couple of wispy lashes on the end. When we were little, we got hit um, if our things weren't clean, if things were out of order. We got hit in relation to cleaning, like belted, like not just a smack. Like So this is going to sound so pansy and like so kind of so like overly sensitive, but I do have trouble cleaning and keeping up a home, even if it's just me. I'm in a one bedroom apartment and in LA, it's more affordable to book cleaning services than, than I imagine in other places. Like it really doesn't cost me that much. It's kind of made its way into my monthly budget and billing system to have somebody come here and deep clean every two weeks. And I also love and respect the lady who comes and I'm lucky that I can uh, that I can do that because I haven't always been able to. And this year, I'm just really like letting people help me because I I really can't get anything done in a messy home, and I have some sort of neuro neurological issue with cleaning. Like some people say, it clears their mind if this place is not in order. I can't function and my depressive episodes kind of come back. It's kind of like a mental health thing for me to outsource a little bit of help. So that is in for me this year. And what is out for me next this year and kind of has been a thing that I've been focusing on is just um, picking up as I go, cleaning immediately so that it doesn't well up into something crazy. When I was younger, you know on TikTok when people show their depression rooms? That was me when I was younger. And then when I was medicated, it got a lot better, but it still can get out of control if I have like PMS or something like that. Like it can get pretty bad for me. So something I'm doing to manage that is, of course, having somebody come clean every two weeks just for two hours. Oops, my camera just shut off, so I can't really remember what I was saying, but I think it was just about the cleaning thing. I can get a depression apartment really quickly and it's really bad for productivity and also it makes me hate myself. So I am investing money into keeping up with my space, picking up after myself and then leaving it to the experts to like really scrub things because I'll cry and I can't do it anymore now that I have like long editing days. I used to take two days off a week to clean and now I find it more productive to just outsource it. So outsourcing is in for me this year. Another thing that's in is eating well and moving every day. I know it can be hard to, it can be hard to start. Last year, I started on kind of like a fitness thing. I started getting my stuff together. I had never really had the time because I had always been working. 
But then with social media, it kind of gave me a little bit of time to be home and to recenter myself. And I'm finding that the more I move, the better I feel and the more productive I can be. I'm trying to like hack my life because I have lived so many years without doing things the right way that now I'm really just trying to get it all together. Fitness, finances, and also just, just general wellness. I should be in therapy, but I'm not. I feel like keeping this home <laughs> clean is therapy enough, so. Another out, which I kind of mentioned for me, is just processed food. I can be cheap when it comes to food because food is getting so expensive nowadays. And it al almost seems like a better idea to just order food and have other people cook than me do it myself. But I don't know what's going in the food. You know, like at restaurants, they cook with so much oils and stuff. So I'm trying to cook my own food and also just be better, a better cook. Even after a long day, I kind of need to be not scrolling on my phone and I need to be doing things. This year, I think I've had probably like five hours a day on social media, which is very embarrassing of scrolling. And since my work has kind of turned towards social media, it's been hard for me to figure out how I should limit myself in that regard. So I'm gonna work on that as well. Also, am I the only one scrolling on TikTok all day or are we all doing that? I actually don't even post TikToks anymore. I'm just consuming it. And I think that's, can't be good. So mindless scrolling is out. Being thoughtful is in. Even I think watching TV is better than mindless scrolling for me. Ooh, that's a little exciting. It's a little too much, but oops. Why did I do that? I don't really like to wear highlights, to be honest, because I feel like there's always this demarcation between my highlight and my blush. How gorgeous was that Florissa's blush, by the way? Huh, what do I want to do with my lip? Let's put on Foxy Brown, Charlotte Tilbury. I love this shade. I've had it for a long time. It's a little dry but I feel like it sticks better because it's kind of dry. So we'll put a nude lip with this and one of these glosses, maybe the red one. <sighs> Another thing that I wanna be out is like princess behavior. I'll still be that way, like in a jokey way, but sometimes I'm like noticing that like, when I'm around my sisters and like their boyfriends, I'm the smallest in the family and they always call me the little sister. And I kind of like act like a little, like I kind of have like a problem with like princess behavior. Like they pack the whole car in Big Bear without me pretty much. And then they'll always be carrying my bags and stuff and I need to be pulling my own weight. So that's out and I'm gonna stop doing that. I'm also not gonna tolerate it from men anymore either. I think because I have princess behavior, I'm inclined to get involved with men who are princessy. And I can't be dealing with that. Especially the cute guys. I went on a date with the, sorry, this guy was the cutest guy. Good looking guy. But he was a princess. And I was like, I felt like I was like catering to his princess behavior. Like I can't be doing that. I need like a brute, like a guy who's just like, just like caveman vibes. like just throwing the stuff over his shoulder. He's carrying the shit. He's not being a princess. He's working. He's out in the world. Uh, chill on the emotions. Let's put a little more of this. I think this is bosom friend. It's discontinued. I don't know what the close thing is, the closest color. Maybe it's cream cup. That's the color. It's like a pale beige nude. It's my favorite lipstick of all time. And what the, f why did they get rid of it? I don't know. But I think this is our look. 
I'm happy with it. Also, my sweater is from Oak and Fort, and they're having a sale on this sweater and many others. I got a bunch of sweaters. So if you see me in any sweaters and you're wondering about them, they're Oak and Fort. If I can't tag it, I'll put everything in my LTK. If you've been watching shorts lately and you aren't seeing tagged items, YouTube removed links from shorts and also tagged items. So if there's anything that you are not seeing, it's likely in my LTK, especially clothes that don't tag on YouTube. So I'll tag everything I can. Most of this makeup should be taggable, but if not, it'll be linked below. And I'm documenting every short in my LTK. And I'm pretty sure I can link this in my LTK, maybe even in this video. But yeah, these are my New Year's ins and outs. Let me know if you can relate. Let me know what you think. I love you guys. I've missed you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next one.